According to research on galaxies and other large-scale structures, scientists are only beginning to uncover numerous secrets in the cosmos. Some of these mysteries have been solved thanks to technological advancements, and CERN has consistently been at the forefront of these. A team of scientists at CERN has just made a revolutionary discovery that will change the course of history. What did they find, and how may it provide answers to our questions about the cosmos? Welcome back to yet another video of Theory of Science, and join us as we explore the startling new findings from CERN's Large Hadron Collider. The European Particle Physics Laboratory, or CERN, founded in the wake of World War II as a way to reunite and revitalize research across the continent, is known for its Large Hadron Collider, considered to be its crowning achievement. Scientists from more than 100 countries and six continents now conduct research at the facility. If you're wondering what the Large Hadron Collider does or why it's so crucial to science, it combines two proton beams at an intensity never previously achieved in a laboratory. Six researchers are dispersed over the 17-mile, 27-kilometer ring, looking at the results of these encounters with massive detectors installed in deep caves. What's the cause of it, though? The ultimate objective is to comprehend the universe's building blocks and how they interact. The purest kind of introductory study in the area is this. For years, scientists have been hoping to discover the Higgs boson, which was predicted by merging theories about two of nature's most fundamental forces in 1964. The LHC has not let them down. In the 1960s, British physicist Peter Higgs claimed that all particles will be pulled through a field, giving them mass-like marbles going through molasses. This field is thought to be accompanied by a particle, which Higgs predicted would be the origin of all other particles' mass. The God Particle was a book written in 1993 by scientist Leon Lederman and science author Dick Terezi. However, the word is disliked by many physicists, including Higgs himself, because it is sensationalized and overused. The LHC found a new fundamental particle in an atom's nucleus in 2012 that was around 126 times heavier than a proton after decades of searching in two experiments. After accumulating 2.5 times as much data inside the LHC, scientists could definitively say that the newly found particle was, in fact, the Higgs boson particle. The Higgs boson is the last missing element for the standard model of particle physics. The gravitational force is not included in this theory, but it addresses the interactions of electromagnetic weak and strong nuclear forces at the subatomic scale. The Higgs boson was discovered and predicted by physicists Peter Higgs and Francois Englert, who in 2013 was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Particle physics was transformed by the Higgs boson discovery, which unlocked doors that had previously been closed. On June 30th, Gian Gudice, the director of CERN's theoretical physics department, said, Particle physics has changed more in the last 10 years than in the previous 30 years. The Higgs boson is significant because, like photons, it can carry and transmit the electromagnetic field's force. This energy field is known as the Higgs field. Martin believes that the field penetrates all of space and time, and is more essential than the particles. Specific particles interact with the Higgs boson, which represents the Higgs field to give them mass. Take into account particles like electrons, which have a shallow mass, or photons, which have no mass. These less massive particles may very easily escape the Higgs field and move at the speed of light. Other particles slow down due to the Higgs field, increasing mass as a result. The LHC aims to test the best hypothesis of nature we currently have, the standard model of particle physics at the shortest distances and greatest energies ever investigated in a laboratory. One of its most difficult parts is how it describes the strong force that binds the atomic nucleus together. Each of the protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus is composed of three tiny particles, known as quarks. Quarks come in six various varieties – top, bottom, strange, charms, up, and down. If the strong force were temporarily disabled, all matter would rapidly collapse into a soup of loose quarks, a condition that existed for a split second at the Big Bang. To create hadrons like the protons and neutrons that make up atomic nuclei, they often unite in groupings of two and three. Tetraquarks and pentaquarks, sometimes known as four and five quark particles, are only occasionally formed when combined. Although theorists predicted these unusual hadrons some 60 years ago, it has only been in the last 20 years that LHC and other laboratories have detected them. 
The majority of unusual hadrons found in the previous 20 years are tetra or pentaquarks, which are composed of one up, down, or strange quarks, plus one of their anti-quarks for each of the other two or three quarks. But during the last two years, LHC has found a variety of unusual hadrons, in addition to two open charm tetra quarks made up of a charm anti-quark, an up quark, a down quark, and a strange anti-quark. The collaboration found a tetra quark composed of two charm quarks and two charm anti quarks two years ago. A double open charm tetra quark, consisting of two charm quarks, an up and a down anti quark, was discovered for the first time last year. New varieties of unusual hadrons were recently discovered at the LHC a charm quark, a charm anti quark, an up, a down, and a strange quark from a pentaquark, which is the first kind of unusual hadron to be observed. It is the first pentaquark discovered that includes a peculiar quark. The result is statistically significant by a stunning 15 standard deviations beyond the 5 standard deviations needed in particle physics to make such a claim. According to scientists, research on other unresolved problems may be facilitated by resolving the puzzles surrounding the Higgs boson. Some have even proposed that harnessing the Higgs might lead to many scientific breakthroughs, including the ability to travel at the speed of light and other things. What is your opinion about this? Feel free to share it in the comments section down below. Check out our channel for more interesting content like this.